welcome to Vibrant Life, episode 60. Today is July 9th, 2023. It's Sunday, and it has been a little bit since I've been on here, and I'm going to explain why. Uh, plus, I'm going to give you an update on my Mercury detox journey um, and share a couple other things. But first of all, um, the reason I've been kind of absent is because I actually started working as a health coach for Dr. Pompa. So you may have seen his information online. Um, as a health coach, I really love, you know, working with individuals and, you know, getting people more to like root cause in terms of health and how to deal with symptoms and how to reach goals. But I definitely was constantly feeling like up against a wall in terms of um, deeper things going on, like toxins, like mercury, for example. And um, it's difficult for a couple of reasons. One is that, you know, people tend to not really want to go there and feel like it's too hard um, and just want like the surface level. I just want to eat better and lose weight and I just want to feel better by using I'm willing to do diet. You know, um, it's a it can be intimidating. It can be overwhelming um, to think, you know, detox. Uh, you know, and, and heavy metals and things like that. And it can mean things like what I've gone through where going to a biological dentist, having the amalgam safely removed. That's a lot. It is a lot. I fully admit it. But, you know, I was in the position where it wasn't just like hormones or, you know, s small things going on. Like my health took a serious dive very quickly um, because I had acute exposure. So I had my amalgams um, worked on um, with the dentist I was at at the time. And, um, you know, there was no no caution taken. There was no mercury is dangerous, you know, it's fine when it's in your mouth, <laughs> which to me is so crazy now. Um, and, and so many dentists still do that and are trained that way. So I'm not really faulting him. Um, but, you know, I had um, needed some of my amalgams like replaced, repaired, um, they had been in there for a long time, and so they they did that. Um, and I had requested the white composite since I knew that mercury wasn't good, but that's about all I knew. And so they 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 replaced them, worked on them with no safety precautions, and it was like just a matter of weeks when my health crashed. And then you know, um, going down rabbit holes, trying to figure it out and was told by several doctors and health practitioners that I could have MS, you know, and at first I was like, no, I don't. But, you know, looking at all the symptoms, it's like, oh, okay. I check a lot of boxes, a lot of boxes with my symptoms um, having to do with MS. Well, you may or may not know that mercury can actually cause MS or it can mimic MS. And so that's where my journey took a different kind of approach. You know, it's, um, I've not been diagnosed and I don't want a diagnosis. Um, it kind of puts you in this little like box. Then the problem is that my body and my brain, my nervous system has been hijacked by this toxin. So, um, people ask, well, how do you test for that? Well, mercury is very difficult to test for because it stores in fatty tissue. So, um, it stores in your brain, like that's its favorite place to live. Um, and then in your in your organs. So it loves your liver, it loves your adrenals, thyroid. So oftentimes you're having these issues, you know, with your liver, like you can get, I've dealt with it. I've gotten, um, I had a time of like mercury movement after my amalgams were safely removed. You're still gonna have some exposure. And my blood sugar went high, stayed there no matter what I did. I, I fasted and I did coffee enemas. That's something that people, some people are like, what? But it's so good for your liver. Really helps move bile through and um, helps take the burden off of your liver. Your liver produces glutathione, which is an antioxidant that is like super good with um, helping detox. So there's a number of things that it helps with. And so I fasted and I used coffee enemas and I got through that, but I gained 10 pounds like that. Not even kidding. Um, and could hardly eat anything because it just felt like my liver was congested. Anyway, that's just a side note. Mercury will do that. So when people, you know, um, have all these side issues or thyroid things or whatever, um, we're often just told you're just getting older, you know, or maybe you just are stressed out. Some one doctor told me that and um, who really didn't listen to me, obviously, and just kind of pat on the back. You're just stressed out and. I'm like, well, you're stressing me out. 
anyway, so this is the um, road that I've been going down. And um, I, again, back to like my new job, I'm contacting contracting as a health coach from home. And so Dr. Pompa has a program, a five month program that he puts people through and he's been training doctors on this for years. He had mercury toxicity, his wife had lead and I believe something else, his kids have dealt with things. I mean, we're inundated so much, you know, from our environment constantly, whether it's heavy hitters like these big metals or other things like in our air and water and food and all that, right? So it's like just coming at us. Um, so. What I love about working for him now is that people come to him like I'm ready. Like they've they've followed him and heard webinars and things like that to where they're like, they understand that you have to get at a cellular level and fix the cell. You need to repair the, the cell lining. You need to, in order to allow toxins to release and nutri nutrients to get in. So many things, right? And so now I am just getting clients coming to me um, through him so I don't have to do that piece of it which is a lot of work um and they're like okay I'm ready I'm ready to detox I know my story I realize I have mercury stuff I realize maybe there's root canals and like um things like wisdom teeth have been removed so there's that those spots in there that um can actually just harbor infection and you wouldn't know it except it's going systemic so maybe you have no like dental issues that you know of or current issues, um, but you have all this inflammation that is causing autoimmune stuff. Um, so many different things that can cause. So anyway, my point is that now I'm just getting clients who aren't just like, well, I wanna lose weight. I wanna like, whatever, less brain fog. I'm getting clients who are like, I realize that I have some, some big things that I need to detox from and I'm ready. And so our approach is, diet for sure, lifestyle, we look at daily toxins. Um, but um, yeah, we, we do this protocol that takes you down that journey. And so I wish, I, I've followed Dr. Pompa for a long time. And one thing that brought me to him was um, his journey. And um, I realized this guy gets it because you have to be very, very careful and specific with mercury. And I've heard so many things like just use cilantro and, you know, throwing these things at it, which can um, move mercury in your body, but it's not going to pull it out. And so it can make it way worse. And I can't like stand the amount of times I hear it from people like doctors even who just don't understand. And I really think that if you haven't necessarily gone through mercury toxicity, that's part of the problem. Like you don't realize. Um, but, um, I've had people ask me, so this, um, the mercury detoxification manual, um, so this is Andrew Cutler's book, and this is something that I started with, and I was like, this is the protocol I need. Um, but I also, um, it took me some time to get ready. It's daunting, you know. Um, and then I had that experience with um, getting some mercury out through the um, safe removal, and that was kind of like a lot to deal with. Um, I did get it under control pretty quickly. Um, when my liver was in distress and all that, um, thankfully, but I needed a little bit of time, I think, <laughs> um, after that and just like to let my body rest. But then I got involved with Dr. Pompa's um, program. And so I'm going through his protocol as a coach and I am in, there's three phases. There's prep phase, there's um, body phase and brain phase. And prep phase is four weeks of um, taking certain supplements and um, we decide on a diet together that will work at the very least. It's removing sugar and processed garbage. I'm really focusing on organic as much as possible to really remove those harmful pesticides, uh, especially glyphosate that's like in everything. Um, so we really focus on that and then we move to like tightening it up and like less carbs, um, less grains, and then tighten it up even more and no grains. And anyway, so there's a lot of diet variation. We use keto a lot in and out of things like that. Um, but the whole goal isn't like this one nutritional approach, but it's basically doing what your body needs in order to uh, reduce inflammation and help support those detox pathways. So we do that. And then that's what the supplements are for. They're very targeted to, again, healing the cell, um, healing the gut, supporting the gut, um, and then reducing inflammation. So there's a month of prep phase and then body phase, you still do all of that stuff, 
plus you add um, a like three different things that help you to pull toxins out of your tissues. And then we're very careful about pulling them all the way out, not just out of your tissues and recirculate. Um, and then the last phase is brain phase, where then you start to use chelators, which actually pull them out of your brain. But the wonderful thing is you've done so much work to prepare your body. And that's one reason I think I may have had an issue um, after that biological dentistry um, appointment is that I didn't do any of that. You know, I really wasn't um, supporting my body in its detox pathways. You know, I did some small things, but mm, not enough. Um, and so I think that was part of the problem that my, my liver was like, whoa, got all this mercury coming through and this is freaking difficult. So, um, that's, you know, what, where I'm at right now, I've just started brain phase, super excited to be there. I had a little issue this weekend, and this is no reflection on Dr. Pompa's program because I am my own coach. And so I get to decide certain things, right? Like how much of what I'm gonna take. And it's very, very individualized in that aspect. You always listen to your body. And you know, sometimes we need more of something, sometimes we need less of something. But um, a couple things that you take are DMSA and then ALA. And you can just do ALA, and that's what's really pulling it out of the brain, but sometimes you take DMSA as well. Anyway, so I believe that I used too much ALA, and what happens is that mercury, when it's moving throughout your body, it actually kicks up histamine, and, and your liver is in charge of like working through the histamine, um, I guess metabolizing it, and so... I, well, I spent the weekend, you probably, you probably can't really see. It is getting better, but since um, Friday, I've had hives all over. Um, my eyes were bad. They're getting so much better. You can still see a little bit, but my eyes were just, you know, and my lips this morning, it looked like I had gotten lip injections. <laughs> like, and I wouldn't get lip injections. So, um, all over my body. And when I say head to toe, I literally, literally mean head to toe. Like I can feel, um, they're less now, but on my head, down my neck, in my ears, all the way down my body. Um, I'll just be a little TMI and, and show you. Um, that's where I'm at right now. But, um, it was all over, all over. I usually teach a class on Sundays at noon and thought yesterday it was getting better. And I thought, oh, I think I'll be able to do this. I've been taking Benadryl and doing things like uh, quercetin is great for allergies. I've been doing that, been doing high doses of vitamin C. So I felt like yesterday, like by evening time, I was pretty good and I thought I'd be able to teach my class. Um, but then during the night last night, got really bad. And um, so I did go to, uh, urgent care today just to get something to like stop it because it actually when I again say head to toe bottoms of my feet even I did not even know hives did that I've never really I think I had one small hive kind of reaction uh after my son was born and I got put on penicillin because of mastitis and so penicillin is something I can't have it was really small compared to this. This has been insane and I can laugh now, but there were times where it's a little nerve wracking. If you ever have hives and they're all over, like very, be very careful. Like if, you know, you never, I did have a moment where I almost did go to the ER because I felt a little bit in my throat and that can be more of an anaphylactic reaction, obviously very serious. So anyway, the moral of this story is you really, really, really need to go slow. And um, I think that I was taking too much ALA feeling like, whoa, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not really feeling a super ton of symptoms. But that's why, honestly, like pulling it out of your brain, it can actually take years. And I'm saying like two years minimum because you just have to go really, really, really low and slow. So... I'm not going to say like how much or whatever. Um, definitely like this is a good book if you want. Um, I will also post below if you're interested at all in learning about Dr. Pompa's program and um, joining that. 
I could coach you. But so I'll share a link there. <laughs> but the moral of the story again is like really listen to your body, go slow. Everybody's going to be different. Everybody's going to be so totally different. That is it in a nutshell. That's where I'm at in terms of why I've been gone. And I am hoping to be um, doing more regular podcasts again, getting a new job, um, even though it's from home. There's a big shift, you know, and I had a lot of training. Um, I have a lot of clients. I love it so much. It's, you know, taken away the burden of like having to like promote myself and do all the tech stuff myself and all the behind the scenes stuff that people do as entrepreneurs, but also like just a coach and trying to like, you know, get information out there to people. Like I, I don't have to do that. I have a team now. If somebody is experiencing tech difficulties, like I have them talk to one of the other team members, I just get to coach. And that's what, you know, I feel like my calling is. I really do. I feel like God put me here for this reason. Um, I really feel like even my own journey has helped me to help other people. You know, I get it. Once you've gone down this kind of like stuff or these roads with this kind of stuff, like you, you get it in ways that other people don't. So I do feel blessed with that, even though it's been tough. So um, that's it in a nutshell. Um, I am going to, again, link below if you guys want any information on that. I also want to share that my uh, tallow body butter, I have, it's still on Etsy, but I'm actually switching it. I made um, a new website. I just kind of got it going and haven't really like promoted it much yet, but I want to move off of Etsy. They're kind of expensive. It's great because they promote your stuff for you. I, I do pay a, a little bit <laughs> for their help, but they're expensive. And then they've removed my listings like five times um, because I try to say in there like the benefits of the tallow and the benefits of the essential oils that I use. And that apparently is like, I don't know, med medical advice or I don't even know what. And so I'm just kind of done. <laughs> um, so, you know, as you know, if you've you know, been on this journey, followed me at all, you know how I feel about things like that. And I do feel like there's an attack on all things holistic and, um, you know, so much even with meat, it's like lab grown and, you know, super highly processed. Um, what is it called? Beyond burger. And, uh, no, you know, I really believe it's more back to the basics that we need to be, um, doing in our lives in order to have real optimal health. So all this other garbage is just insanity. And yet we get um, removed, censored, all the things, um, just really even like your, your um, like the algorithms get messed up if you talk about things that matter. That's all I will say about that. I will get off my little soapbox. Um, but Vibrant Life Tallow is um, the website. That's where you can start finding it spread the word. I really love nose to tail. Like I'm a huge sustainable meat person. We have our Oregon Valley Farm family business, which by the way, we are shipping nationwide now. So if you're looking for really good meat that you, where you know where it came from, there's no um, sauce like in the arm, if you know what I mean. They're trying to put that in meat. Never in ours, ever, ever. People ask me that all the time, um, but I'll link to that also and link the code if you guys want a discount. We're shipping nationwide. So, all right. Happy Sunday. You will be seeing more of me now um, that I've like, you know, kind of gotten more into a groove with my new job. And please reach out if you have any questions. <laughs> Thanks, guys.